Hi, I'm Dr. Eli Whitney at the Heart and Vascular Institute of Texas. In this video, I'm going to talk about Herbisartan, also known as Avapro. This is an exciting medication used to treat several important cardiovascular risk factors, as well as prevent kidney failure and congestive heart failure. Avapro is an angiotensin receptor blocker. Angiotensin is a very damaging chemical produced by the action of the kidneys. Angiotensin causes constriction of the arteries in the body, producing high blood pressure. It also stimulates thickening of the arteries that feed our body, causing them to become stiff and hard. This worsens high blood pressure and increases the stress on the heart. This leads to a condition called left ventricular hypertrophy, or LVH, which is an abnormal thickening of the heart muscle. LVH is one of the strongest risk factors for sudden cardiac death, kidney failure, and stroke. LVH also causes shortness of breath with exertion and reduces the quality of life. Angiotensin receptor blockers, or ARBs, stop the effect of angiotensin on the kidneys, blood vessels, and heart. This leads to reduction in blood pressure, artery stiffness, LVH, and renal damage. What I'd like to do in the next several minutes is to cover the research studies with Herbisartan or Avapro, which show its place in the modern practice of cardiology. The five specific areas in which Herbisartan or Avapro has been shown to improve health are prevention of renal failure in patients with diabetes, prevention of worsening heart failure, prevention of developing atrial fibrillation, reversing left ventricular hypertrophy, or LVH, and treatment of hypertension. Medications that reduce proteinuria in patients with diabetes reduce the risk of developing kidney failure. In one important study, 590 patients with high blood pressure and diabetes were given Herbisartan, 150 to 300 milligrams per day, or other blood pressure medications. In the next two years, kidney function and urinary protein were measured. Worsening kidney function was 40% less likely to occur in the group that was given Herbisartan rather than the other blood pressure medications, even though the blood pressure levels were actually identical in the two groups. This study clearly demonstrated that Herbisartan reduces the risk of developing bad kidneys in patients with diabetes independent of blood pressure reduction. In another study, Herbisartan was given to patients with diabetes and elevated protein levels in the urine. The patients were already receiving an ACE inhibitor to lower urinary protein. The addition of Herbisartan to the ACE inhibitor further reduced urinary protein by 37%. Atrial fibrillation is an important cardiac rhythm problem which markedly increases the risk of stroke. In one study, medical scientists took 154 patients who were cardioverted or shocked out of atrial fibrillation back into normal sinus rhythm. Half of these patients were given Herbisartan, 150 to 300 milligrams per day, while the other half was given a placebo. Within the next year, the patients who received the Herbisartan were roughly half as likely to redevelop atrial fibrillation compared with the patients who received the placebo. For this reason, many recommend that patients who develop atrial fibrillation take Herbisartan to prevent the recurrence of atrial fibrillation after cardioversion to maintain a normal heart rhythm. Left ventricular hypertrophy, or LVH, is a thickened heart muscle. LVH is a powerful risk factor for heart failure, sudden death, stroke, and heart attack. Reducing LVH reduces the risk of these adverse medical conditions. Medical scientists took 100 men and women with high blood pressure and LVH and split them into two groups. The average blood pressure was 165 over 105 millimeters of mercury. One group received Herbisartan, 150 to 300 milligrams per day, while the other group received Atenolol. The reduction in blood pressure was identical in these groups. However, the group that received Herbisartan or Avapro was almost twice as likely to have the thickness of the heart muscle return to normal than the group that received the tenolol. For this reason, many physicians think it is wise to place all patients with LVH or thick heart muscles on Herbisartan. Congestive heart failure is the most common reason 
for hospitalization in the United States. Herbisartan was used in a group of over 200 patients with weak heart muscles and congestive heart failure. Only 5% of the patients who received 150 milligrams of Herbisartan had worsening of their heart failure over a six-month period of time compared with 13% of the patients who were given a placebo. Many physicians are putting patients with congestive heart failure on Herbisartan to prevent worsening congestive heart failure. Herbisartan, or Avapro, is an effective antihypertension medication. In one large study, several hundred patients with an average blood pressure of 165 over 100 were given Herbisartan 300 milligrams per day. Within 12 weeks, the average blood pressure fell to 146 over 88, while side effects were minimal. As you can see, there are several reasons for preventive therapy with Herbisartan or Avapro. Preventing kidney failure, preventing worsening heart failure, preventing the recurrence of atrial fibrillation, reversing LVH or left ventricular hypertrophy, and finally, treating high blood pressure. Herbisartan is very well tolerated and has few side effects. Herbisartan, like all angiotensin receptor blockers, can have an adverse effect on kidney function and potassium levels. For this reason, we routinely measure kidney function and electrolyte levels one week after Herbisartan or Avapro is either started or when the dose of the medication is changed. I hope this educational video has helped you understand why I may ask you to take Herbisartan or Avapro even though you feel normal. I want to prevent kidney failure, heart failure, stroke, sudden cardiac death, heart attacks, and shortness of breath. I'm Dr. Eli Whitney with the Heart and Vascular Institute of Texas.